Hi, good morning, good evening to all of you, wherever you are. My name is Abhishek Srivastava. I'm an experienced IT professional with more than 30 years of experience in the IT industry. I'm also a CBAP certified professional. So CBAP certification is one of the topmost certifications for business analysts in the world. So how do you prepare for CBAP? And what is the importance of CBAP certification in a professional's life? That is this video all about. Let's have a look. As I mentioned earlier, CBAP or Certified Business Analysis Professional is one of the topmost business analyst certifications in the world. It is well respected and recognized by the industry. This is awarded by International Institute of Business Analysis, which is based out of Canada and IBA is working very, very diligently to promote the business analysis practice because business analysis has certain inherent capabilities to make a difference in a software project. As a professional, if I consider why should I do CBAP? What is in it for me? So I'll start by giving you certain reasons which is based on IBS survey. And then I'll also give you couple of important points which can give you the value of why this certification makes a lot of difference to our careers. So IBA conducts salary surveys or business analysis surveys every year. These, these findings are published on a regular basis. You can find it on the IBA website. I just want to share a few of these. So one of the findings which they have published this year is that 32% of the respondents, the people who were interviewed, they said that within a month of getting CBAP certified, they saw the benefits of it. And this is 5% more than the previous year. So benefit could be in terms of promotion, it could be increment, or it could be the confidence at work. So it could be any one of these or more than one of these. Another finding which has come out is very, very significant. 82% of the survey respondents confirmed that in their organization, business analysis is being formally recognized. Now, this is 30% higher than the previous year. Now, as business analysis as a practice or as a role is getting more recognition, the value of business analysis is going to increase. And this is an important aspect for all the people who are interested in practicing business analysis. So over the years, coming years, you will see that lot many people, a lot many organizations are adopting business analysis practice. So even if you are not getting CBAP certified, you are at the entry level, you have a good career prospect ahead. The third finding which I want to share with you is about the salary. So in general, the CBAP certified professionals had a salary of $96,000 per annum approximately. This is 19% higher than business analysts who are not CBAP certified. So these are the findings which have been found during the IABA business analysis survey. Now let me tell you something additional, which is about how does certification add value to you, especially a certification which is based on business analysis and coming from IABA. Since CBAP is the most advanced level of certification, it has both these values which I am going to share with you now. One of the big advantages of doing a certification is to study a body of knowledge. In business analysis case, you are going to study BAPOC, which is business analysis body of knowledge. What it does is it provides you the core knowledge of doing business analysis, the practices, the methodologies, the techniques, the competencies. It gives you the core knowledge which will allow you to do your work more efficiently. But the most important addition of or most important addition to your profile through the certification is learning of best practices. One of the key things which everybody talks about is it's, it's ultimately the experience. But how do you get the experience? 
the experience comes by doing things, making mistakes and then learning from it. But consider this, does your organization allow you to make mistakes and then learn? Possibly not. Then the next best thing to do is to prepare through these body of knowledge books which is nothing but a summary or a combination of all the practices suggested by the practicing business analysis professionals. They have learnt in their careers and they have summarized their learnings into a body of knowledge. So without having to make the mistakes, you can learn from these best practices. There are several such things. One of the uh, examples could be how to conduct stakeholder analysis. As you know, stakeholder analysis is possibly one of the most important aspects of business analysis. If you miss a stakeholder or if you don't consider somebody who is important for the project, what will it do? It will also not allow you to capture requirements which is going to come from that stakeholder, which means missing a stakeholder means missing a requirement. And that can prove to be very costly because it will lead to reworks later on, which means extra cost, extra timelines. So the real benefit of certifications is to learn the core knowledge and also to learn best practices. So in summary, business analysis certifications, especially the CBAP, which I'm talking about, adds a lot of value to your profile, which may be beneficial in the short term, like we saw about the salary increments or maybe promotions. But in the long term, it will provide you more confidence and the efficiency to perform better compared to people who are not certified. Having seen the benefits, let's talk about the CBAP examination to get certified. So CBAP exam is based on BA BOC, which is Business Analysis Body of Knowledge. The latest edition is version 3. Now, CBAP certification prep requires considerable effort and investment. So ideally, as a professional, I would not like to fail in my first attempt. I would like to clear it in the first attempt so that my investment of time and money, which is very precious, does not go waste. So how do you ensure that you clear the exam in the first attempt? What are the key elements? So to clear the exam in the first attempt, you need a very well structured preparation approach. Please remember that in, in addition to following an, a very well structured approach, you need to be consistent in your effort. Don't, you'll face certain problems as you are preparing for it. But that is when you have to kind of get your mental strength and continue with the effort. So the key elements to a well-structured approach are four. Number one, mastering BABOK, practicing smartly and not just practice, practice and practice. There should be sufficient revision and you need community support. Let's look at these one by one. First one is mastering BABOK. Understanding the business analysis practice and all the knowledge areas which are mentioned in BABOK is important. You also need to master the 50 techniques which are mentioned in BABOK. So some of the things in BABOK like concepts, tasks and techniques, they can be mastered if you are able to connect this to the real world examples. So, so that you it kind of gets imprinted on your mind permanently and you can connect to something which you are aware of or which you have been doing in your job. So in our training programs, our trainers are basically practicing business analysis professionals or who have extensive experience in their careers. So what they are capable of doing is to connect you to the real world examples when they are dis explaining a particular technique or a knowledge area or a task that helps you to imbibe these concepts pretty easily. The next important element of preparation is smart practice. 
it's not just about practice practice and practice you can practice for any any duration but that is not going to help you what you need to look at is the effectiveness of the practice what is the effectiveness of practice you need to have a question bank which is going to expose you to all the different types of questions and the extensive number of questions to cover every area so what do you mean by coverage the coverage means cbeb exam consists of two types of questions one is scenario based other one is case study based so you need to have practice with all both these types of questions the second aspect of is you have to cover the questions chapter wise as well as you have to take the full length simulated exams you need to practice with all these four elements to be able to feel confident also when do you think that you are ready for the exam there has to be some kind of a benchmark so we have a question bank which has 1200 plus questions and it gives you a benchmark of 70% so that you can feel confident about whether you are ready for the exam or not but remember this 70% is based on if you consider all the chapter wise questions and at least three full length tests that is when you should start feeling confident so what we have also done in our program we have added a workshop based approach where the trainers work with you to practice help you practice questions in the class so they give you an approach as to how to look at a question how to eliminate wrong answers how to choose the correct answer and then if you are not able to get it right how to read the description go back to babok and fill that gap which you have in your knowledge so these workshops are very very handy because that give you a lot of confidence in terms of how to answer questions this is also part of smart practice here you are going to save a lot of time in terms of how to practice it gives you a good indication of what how to handle a particular question the third element of preparation is the revision you need to find a way to revise babok very very efficiently so you can have your notes uh, it depends on how you have been revising and what is comfortable for you some people have written text some people take print outs of certain materials some people listen to videos so we have a very very quick revision guide which is around 25 pages which covers entire babok that is the shortest revision material we have you can download it through our lms and print it in addition to that we have also written a revision guide which you can use to revise babok it's it's almost around 50% in size of babok you can buy it from amazon as well the last element of preparation is the community support so working with people and and fellow cbab aspirants is always going to help you quite a lot because one at the first level it a group keeps you motivated like whether you are you are into uh, walking and physical activities if you are in a group it it kind of gets the entire group gets motivated through each other so that is very important secondly we have a very live community where you can discuss any question you can put in the group people can answer you people can explain it to you people who are already cbab certified so you get access to that community where you can get a lot of support from the community they can also help you understand a concept if you are not in a position to understand the concept last is that you can create form a group through this community platform so that you can study together and prepare together so these are the four elements and how tick canvas can help you in each one of these so in nutshell what i want to tell you is that at tick canvas we have understood the requirements of how difficult it is to clear cbap in first attempt so we have built this ecosystem so that you are well positioned provided you put in your effort as well that is very important well positioned to clear it in the first attempt 
and save and optimally use your effort cost before i end our support team is pretty well motivated to help you achieve your goal so at any point in time in a preparation path you will find that our team will always be there the contact details are shown on the screen you can contact them before you join the course or during the course thank you so much and i wish you all the best